Okay, today we're going to go over a uh, new application for your Gmail. It's a uh, contact management system that is absolutely phenomenal. Um, a lot of these things, their integration is so-so and doesn't really work to uh, what you really would like to do it with. Um, but here it's a free account. You just simply enter in your Gmail address and it'll begin uh, processing the data and logging all of your past sent and received emails um, as well as your all of your contacts in your Gmail database. Um, we could do a whole tutorial about what this site actually does. Um, however, today what I want to show you is my favorite part about eText, which is uh, what it actually does to your Gmail. Um, I don't know about you, but I hate when I have an application that is supposed to help me with an existing application and I have to go to a different website to actually access the information. What eText does, which is really ingenious, is simply embeds certain qualities or uh, parts of it into your actual Gmail. So if we look at uh, this first screenshot here, we can see that uh, right away, um, up in the right hand corner here, eTax has been enabled and all of a sudden there's a bookmarklet here awaiting reply. So by clicking this you can go ahead and see all the emails that have been sent to you that are still awaiting reply which I think is a handy functionality especially if you have uh, as many emails as I do. Next screenshot we're going to look at is When you receive an email, or excuse me, when you're writing an email, um, you'll see now that there's a new addition to your compose box which says remind. Uh, you can check this box and set the number of days to remind you that you still have not received a reply back from this individual. So it's a great way um, if you're sending quotes out or proposals to uh, set a date for you to check back and see if they had time to review. Uh, what you had sent them. And finally, when you read an email that someone has sent to you, a whole bunch of different things become integrated. Uh, you can see in the top right corner of the uh, email that was sent to you, they'll embed information about that contact, such as their profile picture, um, any social links that they're a part of, um, their title, and then you can even click more and there's even more information about that contact. Um, up here on the right you can see that uh, it gives you the name and email of the person who you're uh, reading the email from and you can select to stay in touch with that person it will give you reminders um, however often you want to connect with this individual. Below that there's a scrolling box that shows you past emails or conversations between the two of you which is awesome because this way it is a quick way to uh, to get rid to get away from having to search in your Gmail you can just actually see all of the past conversations down here in a list um, next we see there's a field here that you can enter the Twitter uh, username for that contact and see recent tweets from that individual and then down here is kind of a bird's eye view of all the emails sent and received between the two of you, um, which is a nice little feature. Uh, and that is pretty much it. Uh, this, this contact management has been great. I've been actually using it, which is really uh, beneficial. Um, the other thing too is that the more and more uh, it seems to work with Gmail, it seems to embed n new things as the days go on. For example, all of this stuff here wasn't here originally when I had signed up and then slowly over the next couple days it started integrating more and more features. So um, I don't know if it's done yet but I'm excited. I think you should all try it out. The web address is etax.com. It's E-T-A-C-T-S dot com. Um, and this is Nick from the Media Forest Date. I uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks.